Okay, <clears throat> now is a pharmacology treatment of peptic ulcers. How we treat peptic ulcers? So before uh, telling the drugs, I just want to revise how the peptic ulcers occur. As I already mentioned, as I already described in previous videos, there is a parietal cells most important is a parietal cells. And parietal cells means function is a production of the HCL. Okay, and the there are the some influence factors which stimulate and inhibitions. Okay, the first stimulators is acetylcholines means parasympathetic. Second is a histamine. Histamine is secreted by the ECL cells. Okay, another is a gastrin. Gastrin from the G cells in a from the entrum. These are the stimulators of parietal cells. That's why increase of the HCLs. Peptic ulcer in peptic ulcer there is an increasement of the HCLs. That's why they can expose to the mucosa and they destroy. Okay, and the mucins destroy. That's why there is a ulcerations occurs. But there is a one inhibitors that is prostaglandins PGE2. This is the main things we need to you need to remember all you need to remember these three things are uh, stimulators and one prostaglandin is uh, inhibitors so we need to remember what drugs we need to give suppose histam histamine is a uh, stimulating right for the production of the HCL so what we need to give antihistamines acetylcholines is stimulating so we need to give that drugs which decrease anti-muscularnic or anticholinergic agents or gastrin G cells okay and prostaglandin is a decreasing HCL so we can give the prostaglandin analog and in the content of H pylori it is of course pylori, um, uh, bacteria we will give the mm -hmm. anti uh, microbial agents or antibiotics so according to this physiology we can immediately we can see what type of drugs we can use and even HCL is a increasing right so we can give the anti-acids so we can decrease the level of acids so what you need to remember about this uh, for pharmacology for the treatment of the peptic ulcer the parietal cell is the main 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 focus which secrete the HCLs and there are the three components which stimulate okay HCLs parasympathetic histamine gastrin and only one factors which actually prostaglandin A2 which decrease the HCLs level so and another factors is H pylori etiological factor H pylori mostly and the NSAID so of course we shouldn't give the uh, the, uh, the patients who have suffering from the peptic ulcer we shouldn't give NSAIDs they may be exaggerate more peptic ulcers okay and if H pylori of course we will give the antibiotics so that's all it's very easy so let's go one by one okay how we can inhibit the gastric acid secretion and before that i just want to say there is a proton pump a proton pump i will tell you uh, the proton and potassium atps are there in a okay in a cells there and there is a uh, there is a basal cephalic and hormonal gastric acid secretions so how uh, we will use the ppi uh, in the further i will describe okay let's go one by one the first is first <clears throat> first let's go the drugs inhibit inhibits gastric acid secretion gastric acid secretion the drugs which inhibit okay inhibit the gastric acid secretion the first drugs is a ppi proton pump inhibitors the main drugs i will write because many drugs names omeprazoles omeprazoles and lansoprazoles other also have pantoprazoles esomeprazoles raviprazoles these are i just want to focus on these two second as i already told you adds to blockers okay Ranitidine, I prefer ranitidine 
because ranitidine not so many uh, side effects according to the uh, in comparison of the cimetidine but last time we used to use cimetidines third is of course anticholinergic anticholinergic drugs anticholinergic drugs pyrenzepine pyren zepine pyrenzepine and telenzepine okay anticholinergic uh, drugs i don't like to uh, prefer because it is a very low efficacy and it's not in it is not low effect it is low efficacy in comparison of the ppi so i prefer ppi and the s2 blockers actually and the another is a prostaglandin analog analogs this is mesoprostol mesoprostols and enprostil and this is what i want to tell this is very very important please never ever give for pregnancy if the pregnancy humans and you want to prescribe prostaglandin analog never ever give mesoprostols okay because mesoprostols is very dangerous it may cause uterine contractions okay so it is contraindicated in a pregnancy that you need to remember okay so these the first drugs i uh, the first group a group drugs inhibit gastric acid secretions first is ppi s2 blockers anticholinergic and prostaglandin analog ppi omeprazole lansoprazole s2 blockers ranitidine cimetidine anticholinergic pyrenzepine and the prostaglandin analog mesoprostol but contraindication in pregnancy i mostly uh, prefer for you ppi omeprazole and lansoprazole and s2 blockers if you want to give ranitidine in the comparison of cimetidine in the content of i just i'll describe ppi later uh, mechanism of actions because this is very important okay this first group is a that drugs which inhibit the gastric acid secretion let's go second group second group <clears throat> second group is a ulcer protective there is already ulcers okay there is already ulcers now these drugs protect this is protect like this so what are the drugs the one drug is a sucral sucral fat sucral fat and cvs colloid bismuth substrate okay and but i prefer this in sucral fat if you want to give is also protective sucral fat is the best choice and the c third group is a drugs that neutralize neutralize gastric acid means what antacid antacid uh, there is two kind of antacid one is a systemic systemic is a systemic is a sodium bicarbonate sodium bicarbonate and sodium citrate and another is a non systemic this is magnesium hydroxide mgoh3 and aluminium hydroxide aluminium hydroxide i prefer this mgoh3 and aloh3 combinations i prefer why because this mgoh3 has a side effect of mgs hydro is a diarrhea and al uh, aluminium hydroxide has a constipations so to counter i prefer combinations mgs3 magnesium hydroxide as well as the aluminium hydroxide if combined so they can counter attack with each other neither diarrhea nor constipations okay and now is a fourth drugs fourth groups of course fourth groups d is a anti h pylori drugs and anti h pylori drugs of course antibiotic emoxa emoxicillin okay tetracycline emoxicillin tetracycline clarithromycin clarithromycin and metronidazole metronidazole tinidazole tinidazole and even bismuth soft salicylate bismuth soft salicylate 
So, amoxicillin, tetracycline, clarithromycin, metronidazole, tinidazole, bismuth subsalicate. This is the anti H. pylori. So, you need to remember there are the four kind of drugs. One is a decrease the acid secretion. Second is also protective su sucral fat. And another is the anti-acids. I already told you. I prefer magnesium hydroxide and aluminium hydroxide because there is side effect counter attacks and anti H pylori is amoxicillin, tetracycline, clarithromycin, metronidazole, tinidazole, bismuth, subsalicate. Now, in anti H pylori, there is a triple therapy and quadruple therapy that I want to describe how. Okay, now. <clears throat> Triple therapy and quadruple therapy for H. pylori. This is very very important and mostly we use this kind of treatment if there is peptic ulcer and of course etiology is a, a uh, uh, etiology is H. pylori. In a triple therapy, uh, what we need to uh, prescribe is a one is a anti acid secretions. Either you can give uh, PPI or H2 blockers. Okay, I'm going for PPI. Okay. PPI how I will prescribe according to me okay lansoprazoles lansoprazoles 30 mg okay POD this one is a for 14 days and second one is a anti acid secretions and the two is we need to give the antibiotics two antibiotics one acid secretion one I will go is a clarithromycin clarithromycin 500 mg BD and another is a emoxa emoxacillins one gram okay one gram also same BD but lansoprazole we will continue continue another six weeks you all must need to remember these things very very important triple therapy we will give only for 14 days right because antibiotics there is a the triple therapy means one is acid secretions one is acid secretion decrease any you can give PPI or S2 blockers and two is antibiotic I am giving here is a PPI lansoprazoles 30 mg okay and two antibiotic clarithro and amoxa but these lansoprazoles after 14 days again we will continue for six weeks this is most important things you need to remember now quadruple therapy same Instead of lansoprazoles, now here I will give omeprazoles. Omeprazole, of course, 20 mg. Same BD. And then metronidazoles. Metronidazoles, 500 mg. This one is a TDS. Three times a day. And the th a third is a tetracycline. Tetracycline, 500 mg. This one is a QID four times a day and another is a bismuth bismuth soft salicylate this one is a 525 mg okay this one also same we will give for 14 days but of course omeprazoles we will continue till another six more weeks okay so these are the treatment for the peptic ulcer you must need to remember triple therapy and quadruple therapy especially for this one is H. pylori if there is etiological factor is H. pylori triple therapy means once any drugs which decrease the acid secretions either you give S2 blockers or maybe PPI but I am giving here PPI 1 in PPI and 2 antibiotics but PPI we need to continue after 14 days till 6 weeks because we didn't know or we will we will we don't know whether it will still be ulcer ulceration is there or not that's why in quadruple therapy once omeprazoles and the antibiotics and bismuth soft salicylate okay so that's all for the treatment of the peptic ulcer thank you very much and please uh, subscribe dr dc online and like the video thank you very much